All right. Um, so in this example, uh, I'm going to we're going to leave the speed of the uh, taco, uh, but we're going to utilize the fact that we have a tilt sensor for this um, uh, on the micro bit and uh, to move our player back and forth. Um, so I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Um, first, I'm going to show you a little more complex way to do it, and then I'm going to show you a simpler version. You can choose which one you want, um, but this is a great way to do it. Um, so I will uh, leave these here just uh, for now. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, so we need to sort of sense uh, the the tilt uh, of that and of the, the micro bit. So we're going to use an input, uh, and we haven't uh, used this one, I don't think yet, or we might have used it uh, when we were doing our tilting arrows. Um, so we might have used acceleration, but also this rotation. Um, so we're going to use the, the roll. Um, so again, the roll is, if you're thinking about a plane, this is the front of the plane, the wings of the plane. Um, it's how much it rolls back and forth, so to the left and the right, and the pitch is how much the nose goes up or down um, type of thing. And so we're going to have another uh, forever loop going over here. So this is like parallel uh, forever loop. So this is com only concerned with the taco and its rate. And then this one will be uh, the tilting of the micro bit. And so if we've got uh, an if statement here, and then we're going to do a comparison. Um, so if the rotation of the micro bit is less than zero, then we want to have the player change by that. And then we'll just make a duplication of this. And then if it's greater than zero, then we'll change by positive one. So I'm just going to do, uh, I'll just leave it in there for now. We won't use the, use it. So we just see this. Now you'll see how it goes very quickly. Um, so we could have a pause in here. Um, and you saw that I, I lost it very quickly. Um, so if we had a pause, we just drop that at the bottom. Uh, and then again, this pause will sort of help us to, um, to tilt back and forth. And it's, again, it has a little bit of a challenge if they're on that edge. Um, you have to either tilt it exactly or have the timing go through. Um, so one thing we could do is that if it's less than negative 10 or greater than 10. So it allows us to be a little bit level and it won't move um, beyond what we need it to do. Uh, and so that's sort of exciting. Um, now we, I'm, I'm able to actually get some points. Well, I got four points or whatever. So that's a, the more challenging um, or more complex, quote unquote, complex code uh, that we're using there. Um, it, I would say it's more realistic um, than the other version, um, but we'll, I'll show you. I'll demonstrate the other version to you right now. Um, so we're going to drop, uh, we're going to drop this back in here, and we're going to get rid of these two things. And we're going to use something similar to this uh, button A press, button B pressed, uh, again from the end. But instead, it's this on shake has this drop down and allows us to do the tilt left and tilt right. So again, tilt left, go that way, tilt right, go that way. Now the only difference with this one that we'll see as we start is that it's sort of, I have to tilt it to get it to move. And so if I tilt, well again, I wasn't able to tilt it quick enough. Um, so it's not a continuous, where the other one in the forever loop is um, continuous. So let's just stop this and start again and see if I can demonstrate. So I, first I got that one, then I have to move it over once. Oh, it's not even moving for me now. Uh, it should. There we go. I got it, but I didn't do it fast enough. So if I do that, oh, okay, come on, tilt, 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 tilt. So again, with a physical micro bit, it might be easier to, to show this tilting in action, but you sort of have to um, tilt 
and it will like jerk it over and it will uh, it will go um so it really depends on your game if you want it to be as like similar to a button press in the sense that you like tilt 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 or if you would prefer that continuous movement um based on the actual angle that it is uh that the the angle of rotation that it has on the roll so both of those are great uh and i feel it's up to you to decide which one you like so thanks very much for watching and happy coding